Hey guys, TGIF! Today officially marks two weeks of move from hell. Two weeks ago today, we were on the road. We moved out of our co-op, which we had closed on the day before. We were headed to our new home, 70 miles up the Hudson, only to find out that no, indeed, we cannot move into the house. And we had to call the movers schleppers, which have been amazing through all of this. We had to call them to put our stuff in storage, and it was going 300 a night. And then finally, a few days ago, we got the approval from the property management to go ahead and put our stuff in long-term storage because they couldn't get the final inspector's visit scheduled until this coming Tuesday. So the long-term storage is going to be like $560 a month plus another moving fee. So our original move fee was about $3,000. And then the next moving fee will be about $2,000. So, oh my God. Our additional fees on top of the original moving fee are like 7,500 right now, which are going to be waived from the rent if we ever move in. And the owner of the property management has basically said he's on our side that we should get a cash payout from the owner if something happens and we have to find a new rental, but that's not in writing. The owner may not approve of it, in which case we'd have to go to court, but the property management owner said he'd be on our side and support us getting that payment. But Fingers crossed it doesn't come to that because this coming Tuesday is the final inspection, supposedly. Still not sure if that darn pool fence lock will close. Um, they're planning to demolish the pool anyway, but are worried about getting a permit and that may take forever and just delay the whole thing even more. But we have been assured that the electrical inspector has approved all of the $6,000 worth of electrical repairs that had to be done because of a shoddy um, renovation that was done two years ago. And then they used a shoddy electrician who didn't get the repairs done well enough and they had to get another electrician to actually do the ones that were listed out by the inspector. It has just been like <laughs> the worst, but thankfully we've been staying at a friend's apartment they have vacated months ago ran out of the city for COVID and um, and they offered us to stay here and the kids have just been playing games and it's it's really not been that bad. It's just really the unknown, not knowing when we can move out and not knowing if this apartment is actually going to work in the end or if we're going to have to find a new one, which I was like really anxious a few days ago. If you saw the last update, I thought we were really going to have to find a new home and I was, we ha I'm out of data on my phone so I have to go to a cafe to get Wi-Fi. And I was like frantically on Zillow and talking to realtors, trying to find some backups. And come Tuesday, we may have to go with one of the backups. But fingers crossed, not. Because the house that we have uh, the lease on since June 15th, guys. We've had the lease since June 15th and we're still not there. Oh my God. Anyway, it's much cheaper than everything else on the market right now. Because everybody's fleeing the city, buying, buying and renting all these houses out in the burbs. And there's like nothing left. It's all like... 500 or 700 dollars a month more than the one we currently have locked down so hoping it passes on tuesday meaning everything is super safe and great for us and the property management has been you know hopefully they'll take care of us moving forward as well fingers crossed so that's where we're at have a nice weekend follow us uh this saga will continue i'm sure whether or not we move in we'll be having more updates haha <laughs> link in video description for our previous updates and take care guys bye